Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's, and uh, yes, I am back from an extended absence, uh, vacation, leave, whatever you want to call it. So I wanted to give you guys some information on uh, the the gateways. I wanted to talk specifically about the gateways, and we're obviously going to talk about the G G700 because that's what you see here in the picture. But I'm going to talk about the other ones and how a lot of the command line interface uh, commands can kind of translate between all of the different gateways. Now there's a significant difference between the G700 and the G430s and G450s and 350s and things like that because they are different. They're newer. Um, but pretty much once you get into each of the platforms of the system, uh, you'll be able to navigate yourself, navigate away, navigate around them pretty easily once I get through a lot of this. Now, I'm not going to go over all of the commands, but I am going to go over a number of them that are fairly important, and I'm going to put some reference documents in the description of this video that you can go get uh, to check it out, all right? So, as you can see here, I'm logged into my 8300 directly, obviously, list, config, all, you can see there's my boards and I have nothing, I have no employees. I'm a loser. Just kidding. Anyway, all right, so um, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm in here. Now, you can use Telnet, you can use SSH, you can use PuTTY, you can use things like that, and that's fine. Um, but what I'm showing you is that if you have ASA and you don't have anything else to use, you can use ASA to get into all of your devices, okay? So being that this is a G700, I think I'm 4.1.69 or something, I don't know. You'll see once I go through all these commands, but uh, you can see you can get into the bash part of the uh, Definity itself or the communication, the CM, the, CM, the communication manager. I can get into the MGP, Media Gateway Processor, and I can get into the stack, the P330 stack or the Cajun side of these gateways because you can use these gateways as basically like routers. You can hook DSL lines up to them and things like that. So you can do some pretty cool stuff with that. I can get into that later with some advanced stuff. But you can see you can get into each of your items. You also can get into the VoIP engine, but that's pretty much for developers to be able to do debugging. And I lost my password. So I don't know the craft password anymore. And I don't care because I have other items that I can check for VoIP statistics. All right, so there you go. I'm going to show you each of these, but what you, what you basically do to set these up is uh, you go in here, properties, log in, just log in manually because it's going to bring up the, the blue screen as you can see when we start logging in, but you put it on port 23, whatever the IP address is and port 23, which is for Telnet. All right, so you can use your regular Telnet window or you can just use everything right out of ASA like I do. Much easier that way. All right, so. Let's start with the bash command. Actually, let me close all the windows. Start fresh, all right? So you can see my connections here. I'm gonna go into the bash. So if I say start emulation and I open it up, you can see my bash in here is connected via 23. And from here, you type D admin or your, I'm sorry, not D admin, but you type your uh, CM login, because this is, you're actually logging in the Definity itself, okay? As you can see there, it's going to show you the uh, login and the name of your PBX that I have here, PBX How To's dash S8300, all right? So there you go. So that's getting into the CLI or command line interface of the CM. Now, some important commands that you want to take note. Serial number, okay? It'll show you the serial number of uh, of your system. Now in R6, I believe that's an omitted command. Let me see. I don't have it up. But anyway, um, there is a command that's no longer available in R6 because you can go look somewhere else. I think it's just show system and it's going to show you all the serial number and everything. Okay, so uh, another thing you can do is status your license. You can see that the license mode is normal for license for the serial number that's on my system. Okay, so there you go. Uh, you can display alarms. Now, if you're familiar with the web interface of the system, you're going to notice this looks kind of familiar. And that is because a lot of the scripts that the web interface of your CM is running these scripts here. All right. But if you like command line like I do, it's much easier and quicker just to tell it into the box and start running your commands and you can see. All right. So there you go. Another thing, stat app. This is, giving you, this is going to give you a status of all your applications that are running in your system. Now, if, if any of you are familiar with the Definity 1s or S8100s, it used to be D1 stat or Definity 1 stat. 
Well, now it's just called stat app, and that shows you all the application status uh, statuses that are going on in the system. Okay, so next command, software version. This shows you the software version and associated patches that are installed on your system. Okay, shows you the operating system, when it was built, what it contains. This is a 2.0, reports as R0, you know, 12x.02.0.11.1.4. Did you catch all that? <laughs> so when you look at it, R12 is a 2.0. All right, so you can kind of look at that. So 12, 13 is a 3.0, 14 is a 4.0, et cetera, et cetera. All right, you can see when the license was installed, you can see when the translations was saved. That gives you kind of a nice version of what's going on in your in your uh, in your system. All right, so that software version. Another one is product ID. Product ID. There you go. Product ID is going to show you the product ID associated with this system, and this is the product ID that I put in here uh, when I used when this system was actually part of a real system, which was then eventually decommissioned and has become mine as a lab environment. Excuse me, need a drink of water. All right, so there you go. Um, if you're in an S8700, an S8800, this command is kind of uh, handy. So you can see all your IPSI versions. So if you had any IPSIs or IP server interfaces, you can see what the versions of those IPSIs are. But since this is an S8300 and I'm not really connecting to a G650, yeah, I'm not gonna see any IPSIs, all right? But if you had IPSIs or you had G650s connected, you could see them using that in your S8300, or I'm sorry, your S80 whatever 100, 88, 87, <clears throat> et cetera, et cetera. All right, so. That is the bash commands CLI interface. And again, this is just a summary overview and you can check that out using the document I put in the description as well as our good friend called Google. If you Google Avaya bash commands, you will see all the bash commands that are available to you and you can check them out. Um, so there you go. Best thing to do is just look up the Avaya documentation do a search on it called bash commands and it'll bring up everything that you need to know. All right. So next video, I'm going to talk about the CLI of the P330 stack and the MGP. I'm going to combine those two because I'm not going to show you too much on the P330 stack because again, there's some advanced stuff you can do on there and I'm going to keep this kind of basic. Um, but I'm going to show you a lot of the commands in the MGP. All right. So stay tuned. I want to bring that video next. Thanks guys for watching. I will talk to you later and uh, keep subscribing. Tell your friends about this. And if there's anything else you'd like to see, make sure you message me. Uh, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff, all right? I will talk to you later. CJ is, well, I guess I'm putting myself in third person. Maybe I should vote for myself. Anyway, see you guys.